My name is Ivan Tashev and we are from the Audio and Acoustics Research Group in Microsoft Research Labs in Redmond. Welcome to our demo multimodal gesture recognition where we use multiple channels and multiple modality to create a highly reliable recognition of human gestures. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I worked on the ultrasound part of this uh, camera modalities. So we have an uh, eight microphone array here and a uh, single loudspeaker which uh, emits an ultrasound pulse uh, at 40 kilohertz. Um, and basically the ultrasound gets reflected from an object and gets received by the microphone array. And then we can detect the distance from the time of light of the ultrasound. Um, and we can detect the direction where the ultrasound is coming from. Uh, hi, my name is Shweb and uh, I'm part of the audio and acoustics research group and I'm going to talk to you about the cameras here. So we have four different types of cameras in addition to the ultrasound array. We have the depth camera and then the infrared camera and all of these are, are coming from the Kinect for Azure device and we have uh, uh, an, an RGB camera as well as a thermal camera. So here you see a thermal camera, images from a thermal camera, image from a, uh, the depth camera, infrared and uh, RGB. Hi, I'm Becky from the Harvard Lab, and so we worked to put the units together. Um, so we've got the Connect for Azure, the ultrasound, and the FLIR camera. Uh, and we also built the ultrasound microphone array board, as well as a USB interface board um, that takes the signals from the microphones, merges them on the FPGA, and processes them out over USB. Hi, I'm Hannes, and I worked on the machine learning aspect of this uh, demo. So the goal is that we classify the individual frames from the different modalities according to the gesture that the user showed and that the machine learning model would eventually fuse all those different estimates from different modalities to provide either a more accurate estimate or a more robust one. Hi, this is Dimitra. As part of this demo, we created this avatar that you can see on the left of the screen. This is actually me pre-recorded. Uh, the avatar is waiting for someone to step in and start playing the game. Uh, in order to do the gesture recognition algorithms, we actually collected uh, 10 uh, different people and their gestures, and we fed it in into the algorithm that Hannes just described to recognize all the different gestures. Okay. I'm David in the Audio and Acoustics Group, and to um, demonstrate kind of how we can um, make this technology fun and to get users excited about you know um, our data collection and things like that. <laughs> um, to get, we have a rock paper scissors game where they can interact directly um, with an avatar. And um, it just uh, makes it fun. Had to, so what we're doing is we're using the depth of field image, and we can use others to, with a neural net, uh, as Hannes describes, to basically see whether you're doing a rock, paper, or scissors. And Dimitri will demonstrate a short game, a best of five rounds of rock, paper, scissors.